Hey guys, how's it going tonight? Bill Davis coming at you. It is December 11th. Let me fix my camera here a little bit. Uh, 2020. I'm just looking at my hair, man. Holy smokes. I haven't had money. I think I had my hair cut one time this year. Uh, longest my hair has been since 1984, since I went in the military. Time to get it chopped off, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'll let it go. What do you think? Comment. Cut it or let it go. Um, anyhow, <laughs> somebody told me I needed a haircut today. I didn't realize how, you know, you don't realize, you don't see it growing. You just, a little bit at a time, you don't notice it in the mirror. But now that I kind of get a glimpse of it in the camera view here, I'm saying, yeah, I guess I might need a haircut. But anyhow, uh, what I want to do today uh, is make a video. Uh, it's more geared towards power lead system and uh, if you're going to, you know, take advantage of Pirate Lead System, use it to promote your business. Um, there's some things when I first started with Pirate Lead System that was were a little frustrating for me. And it took me a while to figure them out. So I'm, I'm just going to show you. One of them in particular was how to load videos when you're building a web page. And it threw me off. It really kind of screwed me up for a little bit. And I couldn't get through that. And... It's actually pretty easy, so I just want to show you what I've figured out as the easy way to do that. Uh, so hopefully it'll help you guys, you know, as you're building web pages and things like that to promote your business. So um, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to pull a video from YouTube, uh, right from my YouTube channel. Maybe. Come on. And I'm going to load it to a web, a, a new web page. I'm going to build a web page in Pyre Lead System. So we'll go ahead and pick this video. It's probably going to want to try to play here. So let me just. Hello, everybody. My name is Bill Davis. I'll see if I can make it stop. Okay. So we got the video that we want to load. Okay. And what we're going to do now is go back into Pyre Lead System, <clears throat> into the back office, and go to websites. Go to web pages, and I'm going to create a new one. Now, if I wanted to, I can make a copy of any of these pages here, okay? Um, but I'm going to create a new one real quick just to show you how fast you can, can make a website, make a web page. Uh, customize, too. You know, why would you want to use Pirate Lead System? Well, personally, if you want to be able to, you know, brand yourself and put your own image out there so people can relate to you and connect you to your offer um, versus just using a generic website you know what i mean like if you if you're if you're marketing a product and you're just using the same generic company replicated website that everybody else is that's promoting that same product there's nothing that makes you stand apart and let's be honest guys people buy from people so um inject your own personality you can customize and put your own videos in just like the one you're seeing right now um, which is this stuff is really not that difficult to do and uh, I'm just going to show you one of the things that I got stuck on was how to load videos okay so I'm just going to create a new web page I'm going to use a, a custom template okay which is a basically it's going to be a pre-made um, a pre-made template that we can take advantage of Okay, so let's see here. What one do we want to use? You know what? Let's just use this blank one. We'll, we'll build one from complete from scratch. So first thing we'll do, we're going to name it. I'm just going to call this demo, demonstration. Okay. And blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to get into any of this other stuff down here because really the purpose of this video is to show you the how to load a video. And the rest of this stuff we'll get to later. But right now, um, the loading the video is a, kind of a big deal. So um, so I've named the page. All this is is where, where it's going to show up in my, uh, cat, my catalog of web pages that I've built. Okay, um, So I can look at it and see, oh, that's that, that's that particular page. What I want to do right now, uh, let me go ahead and just load a quick background image. Now they've got all these pre-made backgrounds. Um, 
In fact, let's just let's just make it simple. Let's just pick this one. Oh. We use one of these 83 boilerplate ones they have in the back background here. So you can pick any of these. Let's go ahead and pick this one. Okay, so we've loaded the background. And we're going to center everything in the middle. So we want to center it. Uh, I'm going to load a quick picture here. I'm just going to load this one that says watch this video. Now I can load any, really any images in here that I want to, but just for the sake of speed, I'm going to just load this one. Okay, now let me go to that. I'm just going to save all this and I'm going to open this web page up. So this is an actual web page already. And this is what it looks like so far. Where's my background? Oh, I think I might have forgotten to save the background. Hold on a second. Background. Well, I think I forgot to hit save. When you make a change, you have to hit save or it won't, it won't lock it in. So let's go back to the one we picked, this one. Then we're going to go back and save it, okay? There we go. Now it should be in there. Then we'll go edit text and we'll drop that. Now here's something I want to point out. When you're putting pictures and videos in, you're going to do it under this edit text tab. Now one of the problems I had when I was loading videos is I didn't know where to load it. It didn't say, you know, put load videos here. So... Uh, so there's our background image. There's the picture that we put in. And now what we do is we scroll down below this. This is where you'd put all the body of your message, what you want to appear in on this website. And this is something else that screwed me up. When I was trying to create my web page, well, I was up here trying to type stuff in and it won't. It won't let you type stuff in on the background. Okay, you have to scroll down past the background. Okay, so everything that you want to show up and have appear on your video on your web page has to be down in this this white area. So let me just uh, I'll just do this real quick. Let me move that down just a whisker. We'll just quick say hi and welcome to our web page. Okay. Now you can change the size and font here if you want to. Okay, let's uh, let's just make it a little bit bigger. We got 28. We'll do it in bright green. We we'll give it a black black background. We'll make it bold. Okay. So there's our just quick welcome couple pictures and then we'll go ahead and load a video okay so this is really the purpose of this of this video here is to show you guys how to load a video so if you want you can skip all this other stuff and just the next few minutes of this video will be specifically how to load videos okay and this is really if, if you're new to power lead system or if you're just getting started with power lead system uh, this is how you do it okay so all you do is go down here to the next area of this where you're going to put your information in here that you want to show up, all your content that you want to show up on your web page. All I want you to do is put a bunch of X's in, just like that. That's all you have to do for now, okay? Then I want you to go to YouTube or wherever you're going to load your video from. In this case, I'm going to pull it from YouTube because this is, this is probably where most people are going to get their videos. I don't use uh, YouTube videos, even the ones on my channel, to load on my web pages. I use another um, place where I host my videos and I'll, I'll explain that in another video. Okay, but for now I'm just going to show you how this works. How to actually load a video, video. This process is the same whether you're loading it from YouTube, whether you're loading it from Vimeo. Um, I use Screencast-O-Matic. Okay, it's all the same. You're basically going to find the video you want, 
You're going to look for this little image here, this, this thing that says share, and you're going to open it. Now, when you open it, you're going to have a bunch of different options here. You want to select this one right here, embed. Okay, when you open this up, it's going to give you all this mumbo-jumbo. I call it gobbledygook, but it's, it's HTML script or language. You don't have to know what it is. You don't have to be an expert. You just got to copy and paste all this, okay? And then what I want you to do is come back over to your web page that you're working on. I want you to scroll up here a little bit. Okay, you've got your X's already laid out here. All the, the, the reason you're putting these X's in here, this is where you're going to go when we go to find in the HTML language or the script in here where we're going to load this video. And to do that, we just go to this button right here that says Source. And you want to scroll down the page so you find the X's. In this case, they're right there because there's not a lot of stuff on this page. But if there was a lot of stuff on here, you might have to scroll way, you know, way down past here to find these X's, okay? So once you find the X's, you can either just back all those X's out. Now, you've already copied that link, okay, that thing from YouTube. I want you to just paste it right here where you, where you pulled all those X's out from. Just go ahead and paste all that stuff right in there. Don't worry about what it says or anything, and then just go down here and hit Save. Okay. Now, before we go any farther, I'm going to show you one more thing that you need to be aware of, and which is these numbers right here, width 560 and height 315. This is the size of the video where it's going to appear on your website. We want to change those numbers. So the way we do that is go back to edit text, scroll down the page, okay? Now once your video is loaded in there, okay, you've done what I showed you to do, you'll see this box, okay? And that box is where your video is at. So what I want you to do now is just hit this little, what they say, iframe, double click it. When it opens up, I want you to just go right here. I want you to change this number to 850. And I want you to change this number to 500. And then hit OK and save. That's it. Now let's go ahead and view what we got now. And there it is. Now if I want to start, you know, putting more stuff to this page, let me go down here, go back to edit. I want to say get started now or join now. I can go below here. Now my video is here, so I want to go below the video now, okay, because I want it to show up below the video. So if we scroll down, we're going to see what all we have on this page. Welcome. Watch this video. Then the box, you see the box here. You see the outline of this box. That's where our video is at. So we want to go below the box, okay. So we'll go a couple clicks down below here. Let me drop in here a Get Started Now button. So we can get down here. Oh, let me find one here. Get started now. Now that's going to be your your um, call to action. Okay. So now what we're going to do? Hold on one second. You're going to go to your website or whatever your you know call company is that you're promoting. I'm going to try to find it anyhow. I'm not typing it right. Obviously. Uh, Oh, I forgot the dot com. That's why. Oh. So you can just send them right to your website from there, okay, if you wanted to. And they can watch, you know, go through this stuff if they want. So let's just go ahead and send them there. Actually, what I like to do is send them to my sign up, right to my sign up page. So we'll go to this, go to the sign up page, copy that link. Okay. In other words, this whole thing, you want all of this stuff, copy that whole thing, go up here. And we're still where that message was opened up. Okay. That picture. I want you to go right here where it says link. And I want you to drop that right in there. 
and hit OK. That's it. Go ahead and save. Now let's look at it. So there's our background. There's our welcome. There's our watch this video. Now they got to hit play. Okay, hit the button if they want to watch it. If we scroll down, there's our get started now button. If we hit it, takes it right to the sign up page. Okay, or you can take it wherever you want to from that. Um, or your own sign up page for whatever your particular offer is. Um, so that's that's it, guys. Um, like I said, I just want to really focus on how to load videos, but we we actually built a little a mini web page there from nothing. So it just shows you how how neat Power Lead System is and how how powerful it is. So um, I'm here to help you guys. Um, I'm going to put the link to Power Lead System below. Uh, you can use this system. There's a whole lot more to Power Lead System than just building websites and landing pages and things like that. Um, but you have um, a whole lot of, you know, training in there. Um, some uh, contact manager, um, unlimited, you know, emails. You can, well, I'm sure I shouldn't say unlimited, but 30,000 emails a month you can send out automatically to your prospects through the Power Lead System format uh, a lot of neat stuff that you can you can get uh, used to really promote your business and help you become a more efficient marketer so um, anyhow guys I'm gonna cut out here I uh, hope you got something out of this video uh, if you got questions or anything I can help you with don't be afraid to reach out to me um, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, also hey join me on Facebook you know look me up um, 3dmarketingmachine.com and uh, look forward to chatting with you in the future if you got questions or anything I can help you with just let me know okay guys have a great one we'll talk to you later